just a simple change in the system, and it threw me off. I don't even know what's wrong with my system, but just something minor. I had to go in all the way beyond, behind everything that's, that you see right now. I had to go behind it, right, into the computer software to switch my headphones. And that took me, I mean, I had, it's just ridiculous, family. But hey, it's no better place than to be standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giammy Journey Media. I am your host, Brother Tim. Of course, you know this is a heart of a sim production all day, air day. We strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. I am still confused because yesterday, if I'm correct, it was yesterday that we were not able to get any of the spiritual animals on, any applause, anything. So we went all the way through and didn't have nothing. And speaking of applause, I want to give all of the Kaumba babies a round of applause because we are on the day of Kaumba. We are on the day of Kaumba during the week of Ujima. We want to give all the Ujima babies a round of applause. Oh yeah. All right. I am coming at you live and direct. Yep. This is that Kaumba. You know, I don't want to, I guess I might, but I, I'm going to say I don't want to. I like coming live. Damn, that ain't sound right, did it? Um, I like doing a live show um and uh you know so i'm I, i'm real happy to be here so like i said i threw the comments up if there's anybody out there that has some comments i know we're a little bit late what time is it because we started three minutes ago what time what time is it yeah so we late so uh, i missed my little window of opportunity but anyway family um Let's get started. Who working the boards this morning? Is anime or Simba? Oh, Simba, 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 Simba. Go on, give me something to chill to so we can go and get through the message of the day. We want to do the message of the day. Okay. All right. What y'all think? It should be echoing for y'all, but it shouldn't. Oh, you caught the hit, huh? Simba cool. Simba, Simba gets it. He gets it. You know, you, you know. Um, but anyway, family, I want to welcome you on this beautiful day. Today, we are on that Art Thing podcast, and we're talking about canvas of change, painting our future with the precious of the past and the present. Let me say that again. Painting our future with the precious of the past and the present. You see how we cleverly linked in the creative art of painting come on now y'all got to give it up for you know Gianni. i mean you know we we strive we strive to satisfy but anyway building taking a sip of that coffee let's get it here we go great day Community builders, tribe builders, and carriers, carriers of a vibrant heritage. Today, as we embrace the principle Kuumba, we delve into the dynamic interplay between creativity and empowerment in our collective journey from the past through the present and run into the future. Our ancestors wielded creativity as a formidable force, painting paths of freedom with bold strokes on a canvas of adversity. They composed spirituals that sang of liberation and whispered plans for escape. Today, that same spirit endures in the murals that adorn our streets. Each color a voice of resistance, every image a testament to resilience. As we stride forward, let us honor this legacy of Kaumba by engaging in the art of community empowerment using 
are myriad forms of creative expression to shape a future that reflects our deepest aspirations. Here are three power steps to enliven the principal Kuumba in your lives, at least for the day. You ain't got to do all three of them today, but I mean, you know, I repeat many of these over and over again. Just catch on. All right. Um, one, cultivate your creative voice. And yes, I am live for anybody that's out there. I'm live right now, so go on, drop a message in the box. Let me shout you out. All right. Um, cultivate your creative voice. Identify a form of artistic expression that resonates with you, be it writing, painting, music, cooking, dancing, whatever. Commit to developing this craft not only as a personal outlet, but as a means to communicate and inspire change within your community. Man, you say the artists are the vanguard of the revolution now. To educate and advocate through art. Educate yourself on the issues that affect our community. Then use your creativity shed light on these issues. Host an art exhibit, perform a spoken word piece, or create a short film that advocates for social justice and amplifies the voice of the people. Three, create collaborative artistic platforms. Organize community art projects that bring people together. From murals that beautify neglected spaces to theater productions that address local narratives. Such collaborative efforts strengthen communal bonds and create a shared sense of purpose. As we commit to these steps, we not only honor the creative force within ourselves, but also fuel the engine of empowerment that drives our community forward. Let the strokes of our brush and the cast of our ballots continue to be the drumbeat to which the heart of our community pulse echoing our journey from yesteryear to a bright and radiant tomorrow. Join us on this colorful voyage as we empower each other, create together, and build a legacy of Kaumba that will resonate for generations to come. Man, that was nice, Brother Hot Tim. That was nice. Man, let me see if I can put something up here. What's up? Wow. Oh, uh, won't post anywhere. Uh oh. Oh no, it ain't pop up. I thought it would pop up. Okay, it's cool. I ain't mad. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Oh, there it go. All right, it did pop up. All right. Oops, something went wrong. Try reloading the page. Or I gotta reload the whole damn page. Is that what's going on out here? All right. So anyway, so now that moves us, and I hope you're ready, Simba. I hope you're ready, man. Come on, get your thick cap on. What, what, what's coming up next, Simba? Huh? That was kind of a... Uh, uh, that was a horrible fade, Simba. Uh, come on, man. You can't be talking during the set now. You get your raw at the end and at the beginning and sometime at the end. But you know, what time is it, man? It's the proper proper. That's right, it's the proper for the day. The proper proper. The proper proper. It's the proper for the day, proper of the day. Now, everyone who has chased the zebra caught it, but he who has caught it chased it. I like that. I like that. Let, let me say that one more again. Now, it's on the screen. It's on the screen. It ain't even coming in and out. It's on the screen up under the zebra that's being chased. It's flipping up and down and going around and round. Don't look at the zebra too much because you might, you know, you know, them, them stripes can't do something to you. Now, everyone who has chased the zebra caught it, but he who has caught it chased it. South African proverb. Today, proverb from the vast savannas of South Africa speak to us with the timeless truth of persistence, a value deeply intertwined with the principle Kaumba. Kaumba or creativity is more than the spark of invention. It is the sustained fire of innovation that burns only as long as we fuel it with our dedication and perseverance. 
As we reflect on the proverb, let us be reminded that our pursuit of any worthwhile endeavor, especially those that serve our community and build our collective strength, requires more than a fleeting attempt. The zebra is our proverb, and the zebra in our proverb represents the lofty goals and dreams we set for ourselves and our community. Now, everyone will capture their zebra, not because the dream is unattainable, but perhaps because the fervor to pursue it wavers. In the spirit of Kaumba, let us channel our creative energies, not just in the ideation phase, but in a relentless chase that turns the vision into a tangible outcome. Let this proverb be a clarion call to galvanize our collective willpower to run together after our communal zebra. For in the wisdom of our ancestors, we understand that the fruits of persistence are not just for the swift or the strong, but for those who keep running. So today as we celebrate Kumba, let's commit to the chase with vigor and unity, ensuring that the zeal of our spirit is matched by the endurance of of our marathon let's create chase and achieve together man i like that i like that i like that that was yeah that was a good one that was a good one all right let's get it so family i'm about to get up out of here and but before we do we want to talk about the folk teller today folk teller today is why the sky is far away. This is a Nigerian folktale. Of course, you know, in order to get this folktale, get the wisdom to come with it, know what you got to do. What they got to do, brother Hatim? Listen, go to freegnjecourse.com, get on the email list, or nowadays, modern technology, you get on that Telegram group. I'll be posting it up. And then those that want to have conversations and go deeper, with the information that we drop here at Jami Journey, get on there and ask a question, make a comment, start some stuff. I was about to cuss. But I'm trying to keep it PG-13 on here and stick to the script. All right, this is Brother Hot Tim. And I am out. Simba, since you work in the boards, first off, what happened to the music, man? Oh, you going to, oh, oh. Oh, you gonna try to sneak it back on now? With the echo? You gonna try to sneak it back on? Okay. Can you take me out of here, man? Please. Can I go home? No? You're not gonna take me out? What did I just do? Oh. All right. Can I go? Now, please.